During data collection for my project, I came across the very interesting paper in which researchers describe theory and construction of ultrasonic airflow measurement device for ducted air. The general principle is that sound waves propagate faster in the direction of airflow than against it. Based on the precisely measured transit times in both directions, it is possible to calculate speed of airflow. But is it possible to build such a device at home with cheap components and achieve satisfactory precision? Researchers describe two different concepts. I have decided on a single path acoustic transit time flow meter because it seems to me that getting correct angles on both sides will be easier. One of the most accessible and easy to use ultrasonic sensor is 40 kHz SR04. For only $2.50 we get integrated circuit, two sensors and the library for Arduino. However, it is a reflective sensor and in my application I have to measure transit times in both directions. So my idea is to use two of these and make distance between transmitter and receiver a little longer. To do this I have desoldered sensors and connected them to original PCBs by wires. First test in open environment generates pretty constant readings. With no air movement, propagation time in both directions is pretty much the same, with error around 1%. This probably can be compensated in the software. As expected, when airflow is introduced, the difference between propagation times is rising, proving that the concept is working. To calculate airflow speed, I will use this formula from Wikipedia. I only need to know ping readings, distance between transducers and airflow angle. In this case, angle to airflow is 0, so 2 cos alpha is equal to 2. After adding this formula to Arduino sketch, I get airspeed in meters per second. When there is no airflow, the value is close to zero and it seems to rise with airflow speed increase. The question is how close are those readings to real values and if it is accurate enough for residential HVAC systems. In next video I will test this homemade contraption in real ventilation system and compare readings with industrial grade measure devices. If this concept will not be very accurate, I will try to implement other methods.